Hey guys, Ryan DeMent. I hope you're having a great day. It's Friday. We're going into Mother's Day weekend. For all the mothers out there, I hope you have a wonderful day. You get to spend time with your children and your family and relax. Yesterday was a crazy town day from the markets, from the Fed. Uh, interest rates are at almost peaks for the last uh, probably about six, seven years. Break through all the noise and everybody uh, on television is is really just talking heads. They're just noise. If you can button up your financial situation, your economy, all the noise and all the talking heads out there just mean squadoosh. So as I'm recording this video, the 10-year treasury is at 309 which really means you add two basis points to it. So you're a little over five. And I think yesterday they were saying it was at 5.25. Is it higher than what it's been in recent years? Yes. But the thing that we keep on talking about, and I'll, I'll take it till the cows come home, standing inventory will start happening across the country from builders. When that starts happening, there'll be incentives Prices will start coming back down and you'll be prepared because you'll have extra months of savings put away along with your credit being, or excuse me, your debt being paid off. Is your payment going to be a little bit higher? Yes. But guess what? We're back to the X again. And the X is simply supply and demand. At some point, the home builders are going to say, "Uh oh, we can't sell these houses at these astronomically high prices. We have to start lowering them. And as they start ratcheting them down, especially through the summer, because a lot of us are going out and wanting to do things in the summer and get out and about. Once the summer's over, it kind of stops and you got to get back to real life and school and work. Guess what happens? You have more houses sitting. And that means price reductions, which means incentives, which means they will start throwing whatever they possibly can to move these houses. The problem is they're going to start losing money on these houses because they're paying for lumber and all the material that they've actually put into them six or nine months ago at a higher rate or a higher price. Now you're able to come in and buy it at a more affordable price. Now, does that affordable price offset the interest rate? That's only something you can do. You have to do the math to understand that. But the things that you guys have to go into this weekend to think about just a little bit. One, is my economy healthy? If it's not, it's time to sit down, look at your budget, and understand what you can do to make it healthy. Two, do you have three to six months of money saved for that... Uh, Oh crap moment if it happens where you don't have to put it on a credit card. That's the second. The third, if those two things are squared away, the third thing is looking at your debt and paying it off because your interest rate on your credit cards are going to continue to go north as long as the Fed continues to raise rates. Banks still need to make their margins. They still have to report to their investors. They still have to report to the street. So guess what's going to happen? They're going to raise rates to keep their margins. And four, once you pay off that debt, it's start. It's really start to focus on putting money away for a down payment. You potentially will need more. It just depends on where you buy and what price you're getting it at. And then the other thing is interest rate. And that could be a whole other video that we can discuss next week in the coming weeks. But this weekend, focus on those four things. Enjoy time with your family. Enjoy your mother. If she's here, be blessed. Your mother's here. Spend time with her. Enjoy it. And we'll get back to it next week. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Have a great Mother's Day out there for you mothers. And I'll see you guys on the other side. Have a good one.